Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are going to do a very important skill station that is important for your practice as well as for clearing your practical skill station whether it's MRCS, MLE or any other practical OSCE based exam. We are going to practice suturing. So before we begin that let us see how to use the needle holder, how to remove the needle from the pack and what are the different parts of a suture material that you see in your ORs. So to begin with we are going to use a 3-0 non-absorbable suture material. So this is a braided silk black. It's a 3-0 the size is written as you can see. The needle is given by an inverted triangle that means that it is a reverse cutting needle and the length of the suture is 76 centimeters. The needle length is 26 mm. So these are the different things that you need to understand when you see the pack of a suture. Okay. Now let us see how to load the needle holder first. So for all the sutures, this part will be done by your OT assistant. Okay. Who are not washed up in surgery. Once you have removed this, this inner part is sterile. Okay and this part needs to touch by people who have scrubbed for surgery be it the nurse be it your assistant or be it the surgeon this is how you should usually load your needle holder once this is there on your table what you have to do is you have to open the flap the packaging may differ but the key point is not to hold the needle with your hand so like this okay hold the needle in a way that you are loading the needle holder and then the assistant or the sister pulls this out so that your thread is free okay so that is how you have to do this process so remember not to touch the needle this is a very important point and the skill station marks are many times cut if you are holding the needle like this why is this important it is not just fashion needle injuries are very common especially in the beginning years and if you hold your needles like this you can get injured okay now coming to the second point once you have taken your needle out if you want to adjust we all know that you have to hold it between two third and one third so two third on one side one third on the other side try to hold it close to the tip of the needle holder now suppose you want to adjust then hold your tooth forceps in the other hand okay and wherever you want to adjust you can adjust your needle holder right so this is how you can adjust i am using the locking usually we use one or two locks if you lose all three your needle can break right so this is how you can load it now Another important question asked is you can see here I am holding it at an angle which is not 90 degree. So if you hold it in this way 75 125 the important point for skin suturing especially is that when you put your needle holder down you can see here that the needle is now perpendicular to the skin. So many a time surgeons will hold the needle like this okay and the angles will keep changing based on the depth at which you are operating so don't be fixated that it should always be 90 degree okay the preferable angle especially if you are giving mrcs in uk exams they use the oblique needle and not the 90 degree needle that most of the indian people use many times okay so so this is how you hold the needle two third on one side one third on the other side 